Oh, he said beautiful again. Oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous. Welcome back to Dress Up Darling, y'all. I'm late. I know I'm late. But listen, life be lifing. But I know one thing, I'm about to get my happiness from the show right now. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe, comment down below, turn notifications, follow me on social media. And if you wanna watch fully uncensored or unedited versions of this, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon, but support in all formats is appreciated. Now, okay, let me make sure my little volume thinks. Okay, we're good to go. Let's begin. Is she freaking out? Oh, she's freaking out because the pictures are so good. <laughs> That's not the sister. She took the photos. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. The sister started it. Oh, wow. Those pictures are really nice. Yeah, don't reply to them. Yeah, it's too much. And it could be a lot of creepers, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's what you should do because it's your hobby. But that's the thing, though. She really shouldn't have any, like, obligation to everybody else. Because, like, it needs to remain her source of happiness. If she's not going to enjoy it anymore through that, then that just ruins it. So let her do what she's going to do. Oh. Oh, wow. He got a nice-ass camera for his hobby. Fisheye, normal, tub. Okay. I don't. Now, this the show is so detailed with this. I've I will, I've heard of fisheye lenses forever. I just never knew the exact difference. Wow! Oh! Wow! Okay, these are actually some like gorgeous fucking shots, and they were like still. So I'm pretty sure someone like fine tuned animated that or drew it. I knew it. So you're gonna be a photographer, Gojo's gonna be a tailor, and they're gonna be professional like cosplayers. Her titties are too big. Also, she's too young. I would say let her wait a little bit. Oh wait, have they had this conversation already? Huh? Oh, does she not wanna take away her sister's shine? No. You're denying something. Look, even Gojo noticed it. No. Um. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Juju looks so cute and everything. They cost like minimum like fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't I didn't do that math, but yeah, they're expensive. Lynn sold separately, exactly. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah, those motherfuckers are expensive. Until I save it. See, she's so serious about this. Like, she's gonna get one, too. But also, phone cameras are still pretty... They're, like, amazing these days. Not saying that, like, you know, that... That... Ugh, how do I put it? Like, a phone camera is good enough for where you're at. So many people make like amazing content on a fucking iPhone and Android. Mm. An abandoned hospital? She looks so, what are you, you the one that recommend? Girl. Nah, this is sketchy. Look at this mother, this mother, this, this motherfucker. Okay. I love how he, like, he watched it to the point and, like, knows it so well now that he's just, like, relating real-life shit to it himself. Marit's outfit is so cute. It is so cute. Oh, my God. You're afraid of scary places. This is very, a di this is, like, a different color palette for the show with the glue. For it. Mm. Words are failing me tonight, but I'm gonna keep it going. Oh, Lord, that shit's just, like, sitting... I mean, the needle needle isn't there. Oh, She really knows her shit. Wow. So that's what the reflector's for? Oh! Oh, my God! This is so cute and informative. Well, y'all ain't going nowhere. Oh, my juju! Come on. I mean, I can't say come on. This is this is on brand. Yeah, this is on brand. Of course, she has all that bravado. Huh? All right, girl, but don't don't fuck up your hair in the meantime. 
Because if you get like jump scared, you might rip something out. So what are we, what are we going to do? Are they going to blindfold her and take her inside so that she doesn't see everything until she gets to the actual like studio spot? Okay, you get, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. You're going to be a tailor. Okay. Okay, but he doesn't know yet. Huh? She's so adorable! Oh my god. Amazing. They are animating the shit. They're animating. Look at this. Look at they're animating the shit out of this. This is so, this. Oh my god. I love this. And she's adorable. Oh my god. Yes. This is pre. This is the pretty cure. That's literally one of the transformations. Like, I mean, there's of course Sailor Moon, but like. That looks like something from Pretty Cure as far as like one of their brooches. I'm sorry, I'm just, oh my goodness. I'm so happy that they're literally like giving that like one show so much shine in a show that has nothing to do with Magical Girls. But you still liked it because you were closer to the character. Yeah, exactly. But also girl, like, this is a kudos to the characters in this show because the majority of them, they're going after what makes them happy, not what they feel obligated to do. I love that. Also, side note, the things that make them happy don't bother other people. That's very important. That's very important. <laughs> That's why you were calling her a bitch and shit in the beginning. Wow. But okay, even, even more so, Kudos to her for being honest in like, wow. We didn't even need this character development. I would have been fine with her as she was. Well, girl, everybody got like, emotions are emotions. It was love at first sight. That meant something to him. Oh! The fact that you're able to evoke that same feeling in other people through your clothing that your grandfather evoked in you through the dolls. That's it, that's your sign. Taylor, Taylor, let's go, let's do it. Oh, come on. So this is cute. This is cute, but good, what are you about to say? Okay, so now that's not a bad response because he's not like making him seem obli- What? Gojo, what? <laughs> Her face. Betrayed him. He feels like he betrayed him. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? The way that they just like... Thank... Yeah. The thank you. The animation style. The way they had like the... I'm telling you, the animation style where she was just doing the like... That was so... Oh my goodness. This is the first time she's touched a boy. Oh, fuck. Ah, here comes Marin. <laughs> oh, that was it. Okay. Okay. The beach. We're getting a beach ep- We're getting a beach episode? This man's not gonna live. He's gonna have a nosebleed or he's gonna net in his pants. Oh, wait, she doesn't have a- Okay, never mind. I thought she had a suit on. <laughs> I d She's so realistic. Like, yes. Yes, girl, I would have, like, a burger on the way to the beach also. Like, what the hell? I feel like she just wanted to come to the damn beach. She just wanted to go to the beach. <laughs> I knew it! She just wanted to go to the beach. Yes? Yes? This is the best character of the fucking, like, decade so far? Like, are you kidding me? Ain't nobody there. What? What? Wait, Gojo, I don't... Okay. She gonna drop that burger. Oh! Oh, the fucking bird! <laughs> because it knows she has the french fries. Oh, bubble tea! Look at y'all, y'all are going on so many dates. They're going on so many dates. This is a date. I ain't gonna catch that shit. I knew it. Wow. Ow, wow. 
I'm surprised that the fries stayed inside that fucking thing. They probably didn't want to animate that shit. This is just some much, so it's the innocent fun in this show. Yeah. Man, get it, man, get, girl, you know you want it. Go ahead and eat. You didn't get to finish yours. What is that? Wait, what What was the white stuff in there? Oh, white bait. Okay. Oh, it's like, it was. it's a fish burger. Okay, it, it's not like a, a beef. Yes, indirect kiss. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, come on. I'm surprised we ain't got no booty cheek or panties yet. I'm expect as is go we on the beach too. I'm expecting it. We gonna get something. It ain't gonna catch me off guard this week. Here it comes. It's coming. It's coming. Girl, you did. Okay. Sip it. Sip it. Sip it. Do the indirect kiss. I'm pretty sure that's what she wants. What? Here it is. Oh, there it is. I knew it. There's no way we're coming to the beach without getting some kind of service. Look at you. She's ready. She ready. Wow, that water looks really good. The like water that's like at like her feet. It looks good. Is she gonna fall in the water and then like it's gonna become see? That water looks so good. What the fuck? Yo, how did they get these effects? Wait, he's never been to the beach. He ain't got no friends. I've never had any friends to come here with. Oh my God, Gojo. Oh my goodness. So she about to take you everywhere. The gears are turning. Oh, what the fuck? Why are we getting so many beautifully animated like shots? Oh my God, this means that he gets to share so many firsts with her. Oh, he said beautiful again. Oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous. Oh my God. That's a wallpaper. That's a wallpaper. And you're gonna go. You're gonna go because you don't have anything else to do, Gojo. No, Juju's coming to some of those places too. She's gonna be the one to lead this, this, this relationship. That took a lot, girl, but good for you. Good for you, girl. Get your man. Go ahead and set it up. Yes, yes. I don't think he even heard the just the two of us part. <laughs> don't you see him basically almost every day anyways? Wait, why are his fists bald now? Is he thinking about something also? Oh. Oh, wow. I mean, he is handsome. I love his little beauty mark right here. Nigga, what? How the fuck did you just fall like that? This is, this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I was high key expecting that to happen to her so that we could get a little see-through action because this would be in the realm of possibility for the etchy in the show, but panties did come through. Week after week, the show just literally gives such good fucking vibes. And I'll say it again, like every week, I'm looking forward to my dress up, darling. Like, I just, I just really am that and pretty care. But let me get, let me get, let's get into the magical girl animation club. Like, what are y'all doing? They are, oh my god. So like, thank you to the people who like stated last week in the comments and like, no, this is not normal. Like, they gave like the the magical girl stuff like a few panels, but it wasn't like this. Cloverworks is having so much fun and I'm seeing it come through also. But I think I saw some kind of article about them being like overloaded or something, especially with like 24Q. So listen, and I hate to say this, but listen, if, if it's gonna affect Dress Up Darling, take the break, take the hiatus, delay the episodes. Like I'm okay with it because they've been doing such a good job so far. I would hate for the show to like fall prey to like, you know, production issues and then the quality like plummet all the way to the end because it's gonna ruin the like perfect shit that we've gotten so far. Like it's been perfect. I, I just, I'm, the show is just amazing. It's amazing. And 
high key, it's a fucking great, well, how do I say this? I don't know if it would be a great entry. Like, like when I think of shows to recommend, I always think of shows to recommend to people who like usually haven't watched anime or haven't watched that many anime to basically be like, okay, what is something that can like get everybody on the fuck board? And that's one of the easiest, that's why it's so easy to recommend Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Cause it has everything in that fucking show. And it's done so well. Which kind of just like, if you watch this and you don't find something, then like, like yeah, I don't know, then why are we friends? Okay, but anyways, this show, I know that the etchy is probably like a big thing for some people, but the character development, the pacing, the art style, the music, like everything else is just so much bigger and more vibrant and important than the etchy to the point where I'll be like, listen, it, they got panty shots, but that's not what the show is about. Like, you're gonna love the fucking characters. You're gonna love every single character that comes on this screen, even Grandpa. Because Grandpa, another thing, with the pacing, they solved it. They solved it. The whole stocking thing, and then like Marin showing up there, and he being like, oh, oh, you oh, you just making dresses. Oh, okay, whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, but you run a heated all shop. You be making dresses too, so it's whatever. It's just... The show doesn't waste its time on like menial bullshit. It like gets to it and it moves right on. Even the thing with like Juju this week, where she, I didn't, I mean, yes, there could have been a sense of jealousy there and that like it would make sense to think that. But the fact that we didn't get episodes of Juju just like in the background, like staring at Marin and her shit and basically being like, I guess, I guess, I guess. Like she came forward with it and was like, listen, I'm having problems like getting through these feelings like this is kind of difficult for me to deal with because i guess i've never felt it before especially with something that means so much to you it's just like uh and that smug ass look that she had while she was in her bed i was like it, it's so accurate because like listen y'all don't be lying when you at home when you're in your comfort space like be, the, the shit that you say a lot or you think in your head like the faces just like everything like people be wilding out in their house because that's where you are your like true authentic self so like i'm not saying that that is a juju's like full self i'm saying that that's a part of her that like came out and it's a testament to her character that at a later date she was just like i didn't like that coming out of me like because that's who that's not who i want to be as like i don't want to be part of me at all but i also have to acknowledge that like why those feelings showed up in the first place. So just fucking, fucking phenomenal. Just a phenomenal lessons. Like we're getting lessons in emotional maturity or examples of emotional maturity and also just how it's difficult to fucking work through that shit. Cause everybody ain't got therapy. You gotta work through your own shit sometimes. A lot of times, especially if you live in America. But anyways, that's all for this week. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, comment down below, turn on notifications, follow me on social media. And if you would like to watch fully unedited or fully uncensored versions of this, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon but support in all formats, it's appreciated. <gasps> I got it all out in that one breath. I should have thought about it earlier and then taken a breath and then done the thing, but I did it and I did this and it's going. Let's end this, bye.